Lafiel, look at Demigod towards the inside, and Yacht is also trying to close in. Vision of Will's running on. In the JJ, Lafiel on the outside's coming strong. Vision of Will on the outside of runners. Lafiel, Imba JJ, maybe. Imba JJ and Lafiel. Shield the maiden behind thee. Shield maiden in photos. Then Demigod. Um, I must just say a big thanks obviously to John, to Glenn, the, well, the whole Cotton team for their support and then obviously to Mr. Dapesh and um, the whole Hollywood Syndicate, thank you. On the inside and then Cap and Pride. As they come to the 200, the Bayou on the inside, Teichman, Monarchy, Aramagaman on the outside of that command control. Teichman, Aramagam's now getting going late, command control, Ibuto, Monarchy on the inside, but command control's going to get them from Ibuto, Aramagam and Monarchy. And command control wins. This is the five-year-old son of Pomodoro, Donovan Dillon, Gavin Almanza, Governor Hipkin Brown. Donovan Dillon has done the duty here on number seven, command control. Thank you very much. I just obviously want to say a very big thanks to Mr. Almanza and all the guys involved, to Kalinda, Shane, the whole team again, and then this one's for my grandfather that just passed away. Thank you. Towards the inside with Ladies' Day, the Black Cat, Ethiopian Queen, Ladies' Day, the Macquadav's flat to the boards, but Ethiopian Queen's hit the front the last 150, doing as she is bred, coasting along the last 100 metres, and will strut her stuff to the winner's box. Ethiopian Queen, given a bit of a chance, was just off the initial speed, and then kicked in. The overdrive kicked in the last 200 metres, Donovan Dillon. Just a big thanks to, obviously, Peter and the whole team, Rose, Daryl, Mark, all the guys, the grooms, you know, they, they play a big role as well. And then, obviously, a big thanks to Tim, all the partners involved. This, we've got a whole host of them, but uh, all legend guys to ride for. Thank you very much. Fans towards the inside all the time. Tuck Tuck's warming up, gets his revs up on the grandstand side. Chara Sands the inside. Tuck Tuck's coming at Chara Sands, the last hundred. All the times rallying on the inside. Tuck Tuck's gonna probably get there. Tuck Tuck from all the time. Chara Sands, maybe Casero for a share of the minor positions. Well done to Pete. Well done to Mr. Pretorius. Um, it's a great team effort, uh, this horse is still very green today which made it uh, a little bit more exceptional, you know. Um, just fantastic the improvement that he's made from his first run to now and uh, yeah, all credit to the boss. 300 metre marker, green sleeves and cap of Mr Fitz, Carew locks on the outside, cabinet shuffle, Tread Swiftly's running on, Ralph the Rascal, Mr Fitz though still has three parts of a length to spare, Tread Swiftly's coming late on the inside, gonna grab, Tread Swiftly from Mr Fitz, go man go and cabinet shuffle. On his last two starts, you know, he was threatening to win and he's always been a solid horse for the yard. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think his last start, he was in need of the run a little bit, but he ran up in a competitive uh, handicap. He ran up very close and uh, he's come on leaps and bounds since that race. And uh, we were quietly confident today with this one. Well done. Good double thus far. Thank you very much. Obviously, a big thanks to Marius and Joel, obviously. And then uh, to Pete and the whole team again. Thank you very much for the sport. Airways Laws trying to get into the race as they come to the last 200 metres. Don't touch me, Airways Laws, a big runner on the inside. Forest Jumps also trying to make a race of it. Airways Law though comes cruising into the lead. And it's Airways Law going on for the victory and wins well. Second, don't touch me, Forest Jump and then came Hatton Hall. And just coming out the gates, he seems to be a little bit slow and he's got done for a stride. Yeah, Sheldon, I was a bit concerned coming out the gates, Gary said he got turned sideways, so yeah, he took the knock well because going through about the 14, you could see it regained uh, his momentum and he started to, to do uh, or travel a bit better for Gareth. But like Gareth said, he's still a big baby and uh, he's just maturing with racing. 
Well done to Gareth, he's obviously put some hard work, and to Mrs. Platner, and to Andre, and to Monet on the farm, well done. Also starting to warm up, absolute stampede coming past the 200, and more than a dime, Isla Mirada, Space Oddity on the inside, and then on the inside, Cape Star, but more than a dime, and more than a dime from Isla Mirada, third position will go to Space Oddity, maybe Rainbow Unicorn fourth. Then Andre Nell and Keegan Lamello and they rush away to win convincingly at the business end of race number five. Lovely race to watch coming to the last 300. Once the gaps had opened, it was race over. Yeah, it's obviously very rewarding. Uh, also, a special thanks to Sam Hill. She does a lot of work, physio work on her. So it's just, obviously those type of wins just uh, suck a cherry on the top. So yeah. Um, yeah, so well done to Mrs. Platner, she's in the country, and to Andre, and to Mornay on the farm, thank you. Super. Green rails run, and Lady Yusra, the yellow cap is starting to tighten up, hands and heels. Lucky Miss hit the front at the 200, in the marble. Towards the inside, Lady Yusra is making a huge race of it, Ice Sensation. On the inside, Ice Sensation's coming at Lady Yusra. Lucky Miss the outside, but Ice Sensation, winner's box bound. An outstanding debut performance by number four, Ice Sensation. The three-year-old daughter of Versing Gatterix from the Andre Nell stable, Byron Foster, of course. Um, just a quick mention, thanks to Mrs. Platna, and obviously she's been patient with this filly, and uh, it's one of her mares, so well done to her, and obviously Andre and to Mornay on the farm. Wonderful job, Byron, congratulations. Open on the right hand side at the 300. Mystery Boy hit the front. Chewbacca's running on. Blue Planet's up. Big runner on the outside. Chewbacca, Blue Planet's on the outside. Mystery Boy, no extra. And Chewbacca's gone right on by a neck. Blue Planet's trying to come back. Chewbacca from Blue Planet, that's the way they stay. Baron, uh, you know, it's all hard work behind the scenes. Sometimes it takes longer than you expect it to, but the way things are going, you'll take that? Yeah, it is, you know, this game, it's always up and down. While you on a good wicket, you've got to enjoy it. And uh, yeah, thanks to the team back at home, Chelsea. She obviously does the hard work at home, and, and obviously to Gareth. Uh, he, he writes some fantastic work in the morning. His feedback's positive, and uh, you know, we're on the right track at the moment. Behind that is my lord and master. Kanyisi and Lele's got a mountain to climb, still at about six or seven ago. And it's tenacious time, the leader. Prince Vian's trying to close it down. Fantastic impact on the inside. But tenacious time continues on. And it's tenacious time for the victory. Tenacious time has won it. Second will go to fantastic impact, the third Prince Vian, and then Atlantic City. You just can't put two good races together. Thankfully today he's got it right and uh, Gareth has always said to us that he's got a win in him but he just he's a type of horse that needs everything to go right from A to B and uh, he, he just shirks it once he gets a bit of pressure but thankfully he's out the way. Well done to Mrs. Platner and to Andre and obviously Mornay on the farm and a uh, peach of a ride by Gareth again. Airways Lords trying to get into the race as they come to the last 200 meters. Don't touch me, Airways Lords, a big runner on the inside. Forest Jumps also trying to make a race of it. Airways Law though comes cruising into the lead. And it's Airways Law going on for the victory and wins well as Airways Law just glides away from them and goes on to score well. So clearly on the upgrade is the son of Legislate and Airways Law is victorious. He doesn't show the stuff of work at home, he just gets on with it and uh, he just saves himself for races, which is always a nice thing. Time is also starting to warm up. Absolute stampede coming past the 200. And more than a dime, Isla Mirada, Space Oddity on the inside. And then on the inside, Cape Star, but more than a dime. And more than a dime from Isla Mirada. win convincingly at the business end of race number five.
Lady Eustra. The yellow cap is starting to tighten up. Hands and heels. Lucky Miss hit the front at the 200. In the marble. Towards the inside, Lady Eustra is making a huge race of it. Ice Sensation. On the inside, Ice Sensation's coming at Lady Eustra. Lucky Miss the outside, but Ice Sensation, winner's box bound. Ice Sensation will take home the victory. An outstanding debut performance by number four, Ice Sensation. Chewbacca's running on. Blue Planet's a big runner on the outside. Chewbacca, Blue Planet's on the outside. Mystery Boy, no extra. And Chewbacca's gone right on by a neck. Blue Planet's trying to come back. Chewbacca from Blue Planet, that's the way they stay. Number 10, Chewbacca, the Silvano, for the Platiners, Laplace on stud, for the Nell team. And you see Lele's got a mountain to climb, still at about six or seven ago. And it's tenacious time, the leader. Prince Vian's trying to close it down. Fantastic impact on the inside. But tenacious time continues on. And it's tenacious time for the victory. Tenacious time has won it. Thankfully he's out the way, well done to Mrs. Platner and to Andre and obviously Mornay on the farm and uh... Eighth race has been won by Tenacious Time uh, for Andre Null. Number two, Tenacious Time, Andre Null, the Black Minaluge is victorious.